Hey guys, it's Paulina. It is currently July and my sister's birthday was April 19th. And yes, this video is coming out right now because I am a poor planner sometimes. Basically, my sister wanted a new desk. And yeah, this seems kind of weird thinking that it's her dream to get a desk, but this is something she's wanted for such a long time. My sister is an artist and she used to have just a small table she used as her little space where she did all her paintings. And so we decided for her birthday to order her a desk. But then what happened kind of put us in a twist. So I did a little bit of a room transformation myself and I moved out my old desk for my new desk. And basically my sister snagged my old desk and started using that as her art table. Well, that kind of ruined our plan because we we have already ordered her a desk. But we just continued. We thought, you know what, whatever. We'll just get rid of the other one. So I decided to create a whole entire scavenger hunt that leads to her desk. But we had to do it in a way where she doesn't see that desk. Here's what we decided to do. Step one. I first had to print out slips of paper that were the riddles. I think there was a total of 17 or 18 of them. I'm pretty sure it was 17, but I did miss one because apparently I am a poor counter and missed the number 10. Step two. Then I had to fold them inside an Easter egg, hide them around some of the places that I have chosen for my riddles. Step three. Then I got this huge Easter egg and I filled it with the tons of snacks and candy that my sister likes. And inside I put in the very first Easter egg. The next day, which was my sister's birthday. She woke up and we had to do this discreetly. So I sent her out to go walk the dog with my mother. And then when they return, I've set up all the balloons and the presents for her. So when she gets home, she'll be able to open her first present, not knowing that there are more presents to come. When my sister got back, she was really excited and opened up all of her gifts. Aww. Aww. Wow. Oh wait, that's really cool though. I don't know this band, but I love it. Oh wow. Are they the red ones with checkers? It is the red one with checkers. Oh. Mom. Mm, so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. They actually look cute with this outfit. Look how new they look. Then she finally opened up the big Easter egg. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my god. Yes. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. When she marveled over all of the chocolates that she got, she saw the Easter egg and started off with her first clue. One. What does that mean? Open it. A fortune cookie! What? No. <laughs> there are many necessary and unnecessary chords here. Piano. No, that is not correct. You don't have a guitar though. No, chords! Oh, I took it that way. A different type of chord. Look how musical she is. <laughs> After that egg, she went on to a wild goose chase of finding every single Easter egg. Uno dos. Oh wow, I see your name. Paulina has this much. Three fourths. Victoria has this much. One third. This room. <laughs> Am I not wrong? I mean, this room though. Ika. What? You complain about this all the time. <laughs> Sock falls out. This? Do I take this? And the gift. custom made it. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> no, these are just pre-made patterns. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Because you are special. Because you are special. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, numero tres. You dread this every morning. Can you Monday. read it? Piano. Whoops. Ah. 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 
number four. It's too small, but you use it anyway. Specifically for school. Backpack? It's not too small. What? <laughs> it's fashionably small. Oh my god. Okay, number five. 99. What kind of clue is this? By nine. Oh. <laughs> you should have put a space between them. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. Nine, nine. I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know what that is either, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so many presents. Oh my god. <laughs> Five feet apart. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Number six. Picture Victoria Applehead. What does that even mean? Can you give me a hint? Picture Victoria Applehead. <laughs> Number seven. Planets like to chill. Plants. I don't know how to read. Like to chill here. Outside. Oh, I have to go outside. Oh my god, there's no plants in here. <laughs> <laughs> For this one, you will need to unscramble this word. Noom Rachi. Is it Noom and then Rachi, or is it like completely mixed up? Completely mixed up. What's a room chain? The last word is chair. Moon chair. Oh. If I said room chair, but I was like, no, there are two R's. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you? <gasps> Earbuds. This is number nine. It's a small paper and it says snacks. That is me. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was right. Okay, well that's rude. Okay, this is number 11. <gasps> it's a pen. Oh my god. What is it? What is it of? It's, it's of my, one of my paintings. So cool. I have better paintings. Just like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I just thought that one looked the most coolest as a pen. Is this condiment technically a smoothie? Ketchup. And here's where the twist came. I somehow had to get Victoria out of the house so that I could build a desk in under two hours. So, the very last egg was actually a coupon to any and every store she wanted to go. This is number 12. Canada, we use moose for transportation. Car. Is that the answer? Yeah. Okay. But we don't use cars, we use moose, obviously, and polar bears. Dear Americans, don't get the wrong idea. Look how nice the weather is. Oh wow, you stole my seat, whatever. Number 13. Coupon for any store you would like to go to, valid only on April 19th, 2019. Am I looking for a coupon? <laughs> Show off your new shoes. So now you guys are off to do some shopping and use your coupon for any store you would like. And here is where the major step happened. As soon as she left, I ran over the desk uh, into the room where her painting station is and I started building it. I had a friend of mine come over to help me build it because it's kind of difficult to build a desk all by yourself. And so on we went, struggling, trying to somehow build this big desk and I'm not gonna lie, it was, at the same time, incredibly frustrating and one of the most fun things. It was hilarious. At one point, I thought that we should become builders professionally. And then closer to the end, I was so done with that desk, I was ready to 
be finished and then go to bed. Our desk building took a little bit longer than expected. We ran over two hours and my mom was frantically texting me that they have run out of stores to go. And here's a reminder, we live in a small town. There aren't many places to go. So as we hurriedly finish the desk, alas, the time comes, we are done and we set it up alongside the wall and then we wait for her arrival. When Victoria comes back, there is yet another Easter egg waiting for her. At the end of this particular egg hunt, she was going to find her own desk. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the pants. 15. You may have, you have many types of these black shoes. Pants. I have lots of black shoes. Number 16. I think you should read the series Harry Potter. As she continues going outside and around the house, the last riddle comes. And number 17. Paulina had two, now she has one. Victoria has one, now she has two. What? <laughs> I knew this one was going to be kind of tricky for her to guess. Victoria was not expecting a desk whatsoever. But then I had to remind her that I had a brown one and a white one. And from that it kind of clicked. Okay, you had to... Okay, I had a brown one and I had a white one. A desk. Is that a surprise? <laughs> yes, Vika. <laughs> I like it. She was really happy. And I just need to remind everyone that my sister, she is not one for showing emotions. The reaction is kind of underwhelming, but if you guys have seen my prank video where I pranked my sister on April Fool's Day, you kind of know she's underwhelming that way. But I think she really did like it in the end. Since it's July right now, I can say that she really liked that desk and she uses it all the time and, you know, it's beautiful. It's really aesthetic. It made me happy that it made her so happy. That concludes my big surprise for my sister that she's been waiting for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think. Your feelings. How are the kids? What kind of water did you drink today? And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <coughs>